Hi guys! I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, so yesterday we talked about rain and why it rains. We were wondering about that and we asked a question about why it rains and we did that awesome rain experiment. Well today I wanted to talk about something else that kind of comes from water. I wanted to talk about this word that I have written down on my board here, my dry erase board. And it starts with the letter, do you guys know what letter that is? You should know, somebody in our class has that letter in her name. R, right? R for roofy and R for rainbows. So I wanted to talk a little bit about a rainbow today and where a rainbow comes from. And then I have an experiment that we could do today about rainbows. So does anybody know what makes a rainbow? How come there are rainbows in the sky sometimes? Well, rainbows come from water. They come from water and they come from something else. Can you guys think really hard about where you think rainbows can come from? Water and what else? If you said sun, you were right. Rainbows come from water and sun. So I have my dry erase markers here and I'll draw for you. So what happens is, we know that rain comes from the water cycle, right? So all of those lakes and oceans and all of the water on earth, some of that water evaporates, kind of disappears a little bit and it goes up into the sky and it forms clouds, it forms condensation. Well, all of those little drops that go up into the clouds, they make those clouds so heavy and so full of water that they can't keep the water in them anymore. So eventually they have to kind of let it back down as rain or snow or hail. And then all of that water kind of comes back down into the earth, back into the lakes and the oceans and the streams and on the plants and in the dirt. Well, when it rains and the clouds have to let up all of that water that's building up inside of them, when it rains, the water comes down. Well, sometimes after rain, the sun comes out again, right? After it rains, sometimes that sun shines. When that sun shines onto those water droplets that are in the sky from the rain, that sun shining on the water droplets makes a rainbow. It makes all of those different colors in the rainbow. Let's see if Gilbert Gladwell could quickly make a rainbow before we do this experiment. So I have all my markers and I have to do it kind of in order. So the first part about a rainbow is red. And do you know what shape a rainbow is? Does anybody know what that is? That's called an arc. So you start kind of down at the bottom and you go around and go to the other side and then you stop, it's called an arc. So after red in the rainbow, there is orange. And I'm going to make that arc again. Anybody know what comes after orange? Yellow. Gavert Fladwood's favorite color. I love yellow. Anybody know what comes after yellow? If you said green, you were right. Green comes next. Anybody know what comes after green? There's two more colors left. We got blue. And then the last color is purple. And then you have your rainbow. So then you have your rainbow. So rain and sun, rain and sun, rain and sun, make a rainbow. So that's how you make a rainbow. Do you guys want to do an experiment with me? Let's do it. Let me put my marker is over here and my back over here. So just like yesterday, we are going to pretend that this is all of the rainwater that's kind of still in the sky. And we're going to pretend that the shaving cream are the clouds. So I'll put some shaving cream on the top. Whoop. Okay, so I have my clouds. And I, it just rained. The clouds let loose all of that rain. So this is the rain. And now I'm going to pretend the sun is shining in the sky after the rain. And let's see if we can make 
a rainbow in our water. So I'm gonna use just the primary colors. We kind of talked about the primary colors the other day. Blue, yellow, and red. I'm just gonna use those colors because if I mix some of these colors, if I mix red and blue, I get purple. If I mix red and yellow, I get orange. And if I mix yellow and blue, I get green. So let's see if we can mix some of these colors and get some of those rainbow colors going down in our water. So I'm gonna take my dropper, I'm gonna squeeze it, I'm gonna let it go, fill it up, and I'm gonna put some of that on my clouds. We'll watch and see what happens. I do a lot of red. I'll just kind of watch and we'll see. <gasps> oh, I see it. It's coming down. It's soaking through the clouds. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it coming down? Can you see that red part coming down? Now, if I add a little bit of blue to it, what do you think is going to happen if I add a little bit of blue to the red? You think I can make some purple? It's coming down. And then maybe on this side, I'll add a little bit of yellow. Ooh, I see some swirly purple happening. There's some purple happening over here and I'll make some yellow go down over here. Let's see if we can make more colors go down into the water. And if I add a little bit of blue to the yellow, maybe I can make a little bit of green. And I'll make my rainbow. And those colors will just keep swirling and coming down and looking beautiful. I have some green, I have some purple, I have some blue, I have some red. So once again, if you have food coloring at home and some water and some shaving cream, this is maybe something you could do at home and you could watch it. Sometimes it takes a while for the colors to swirl and drop down through the water. Sometimes you have to kind of be patient and just watch it happen. Um, but I can see on my side, I swirled some of the blue and the yellow and it's green. I see some purple coming down. It takes a little bit sometimes, but it it's coming down. So this is another kind of an experiment that you could do at home. And I would just use the primary colors and see if when they mix, they can make some orange and some purple and some green and other colors. Do you see it kind of coming down now? It's all coming down now. It looks beautiful. Well, that is our experiment for today, guys. And now you guys know how a rainbow is formed. Just that sun hitting those raindrops in the sky, making those beautiful rainbow colors that you see sometimes up in the sky. Um, so I'm going to make an art video for you guys, and I'm gonna show you what you could do today for your art activity. I hope you guys have a super great day. See you soon, bye.